chicks it's d and i'm here at collins park thrift it's one of my favorites it's probably my third favorite which is probably why i'm doing it for the month of march but i am taking you in here today taking you all around maybe showing you some things to try on um you might see multiple clips because i do like to go in a couple of times i don't like to spend too long in one shop unless it's a big sale day but we're here today in Arlington. FYI, if you have researched this place on Google Maps, it says that it's permanently closed. I am here to tell you, my friends, that that is not true. So I'll see you inside and then I'll see you for the haul.
I like this a lot because it matches jeans that I have. Hey chicks, it's Dee here, and today on this beautiful day, I have no lights on. Um, it's actually a spring break when I'm filming this for my month of March thrift highlight. I am talking about Collins Park Thrift. So Collins Park Thrift here in Arlington is centered between the popular street Collins, um, and then Center Street. So it's in between those two main busy roads. Um, I'm going through today, it's been a couple of weeks since I purchased majority of these items and stay tuned till the end of the video to where I do a little DIY slash thrift flip in a way. I'm really excited about this and I've been wanting to do it. I also have two of my <laughs> One kind of sick pup, um, and then another pup that's relaxing. So anyway, if you're a dog lover out there. So I'm going to start with um, two things that I got. I, I tend to go a couple of times to the thrift store that I'm highlighting for that month, mainly just to give me some parameters and some boundaries. But I got these two very shabby pillow, pillow slash pillows, pillowcases slash pillows. Um, this one was $2 and this one was $3. So I got these because I had actually thrifted a while back, probably at the beginning of the year, this beautiful emerald green. I got two actually. The dog um, helper is laying on another one right there. But I got these two pillows slash pillowcases for the inside of these and I wanted to just show it in the video today, but these pillowcases, oh wow, seriously? Let's see what this one says. What did it say, Max? Okay, it says two piece, $4. So I must, they must have been together and I got it for, I got both for $4 for this set. So really happy with these. Uh, I like the way it just kind of pops with my little futon set up there. So I got those cases for $4, these for basically $4, and then I'm going to trash these because I don't need them, um, but I wanted to show and I'll be, you know, laundering those. All right, let's look at a couple more things. So I got this jar. I do a lot of sustainable like kitchen scraps. I'll probably be putting my processed eggshells in here for my garden or coffee grounds or something. But this was, this was $8, which is pretty, let me see if that's what I actually got it for on this. Oh, I got that for $3. I don't know 
because I know that doesn't say it. Oh, it is 292. I thought it was a seven. Wow. Look at this in the comments. Oof. Can you see that? I know it's backwards, but that first number looks like a seven. $3. Okay. Well, whoever prices these. Um, okay. And on my Instagram stories, I was talking at the beginning of the month about which bathing suit I got. Yes, I did thrift a bathing suit, but giving you TMI, the liner and everything is still in there. So it's a cute little high waisted set. I liked, well, it still had tags on it. So this is beach sissy. I promise I am not a beach sissy. Um, yeah, nothing really extreme on the tag, but beach sissy brand has cups. I just really liked that kind of embroidered look around the edges of the straps and you cannot go wrong with a never before worn two piece thrifted set. Okay. 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 Y'all, I think there's only one more item and this is what I was going to thrift flip. I'm super excited. No, there's actually two more items. I like, I like this is my thrift flip that I want you to stay tuned for till the end of the video. I have a thing with faces. Yeah. Any kind of faces on anything. So this was, these were 99 cents and these are very heavy, um, on the back. Let me see. On the back, it says JJ. I don't know if I will be able to get super close, but there on the corner bottom, it says JJ. I don't know what brand that is. I'll look into it, but I, my metal is not gold. So when I saw these, I was like, gosh, darn it. They're gold. Um, but I have this, which a really good friend of mine told me about rub and buff. And I've done a lot of rub and buff pieces. This is silver. So I'm going to be buffing this into silver leaf instead of gold. So again, stay tuned to the end of the video to where I will show how I do that. Okay. And then the other, this is, these are sterling silver, nine to five. They were $5. This beautiful amethyst. I don't know if that's really the color, but purple. And I needed, I, I have two holes and I like to wear something kind of delicate if I'm putting my hair up. I don't like to wear big earrings if my hair is up, but these beautiful purple earrings for $5. But let's get into the DIY. All right, so I have this rub and buff cloth that I use for when I do these kinds of projects. Let me get my pieces out of the way. Oh no, are you kidding me? Look what I just realized. Mwah, mwah. I know I can probably get that off. I'll have Mr. Chickadee help me. Okay, so rub and buff. I got, I think I got it online. I, I bet you could find it on Amazon, um, but maybe your local hardware store as well. Let me get my cute little delicate silver earrings out of the way. So you just unscrew the top and then puncture with the lid itself. I am going to find a spot on the cloth to apply it onto. And this is what it looks like coming off or coming out of the tube. And applying. I think I'm mainly going to do the front. I don't know if I am going to rub and buff the back. Just seems like a waste since you won't really see, see the back of it. I'm going to get the excess off real quick and do some on the other earring.
kind of do the edges too. I've used a couple different colors. I think I have antique gold, um, regular gold. I might have a brushed kind of nickel. Okay, so pardon the fingers, but here is what it's gonna turn out looking like. I am so glad that I ended up getting these. I just have this crazy thing for faces and I love faces and that did not take a lot at all these were 99 cents I'm gonna wait for this pair to dry and then I might do one more under the nostrils there's a little bit of gold peeking out but holy cow I'm super excited and I don't know what compelled me to look in the jewelry that day but I was just kind of like yeah let me go over here um probably because I know what compelled me to do it I always forget and I had gone uh to the changing room and tried a few things on and I was like okay I'm gonna go since I'm over here and that's when I found those couple things um there was also like a turquoise thing there but turquoise is not one of my colors so I passed up on that for somebody else to, to find and when I went back for my second trip for the month I didn't see it there so somebody had ended up getting it which I was super happy about but stay tuned for in my ear I'm gonna give it a little time to dry but I'll put it in my ears so you, in my earring hole so you guys can see it so here's the final product I am actually pleasantly I don't want to say surprised, but I knew that it would cover good. I'm not going to do a second coat on it, um, but I just wanted to show. And it covers more, I'm trying to make sure, um, covers more of my earlobe than I thought it would. So it's definitely, I don't know, could be cute with hair up, but I'm feeling it's definitely a hair down situation. Um, let's see. I don't know about hair up, it's a lot. I'm very minimalist when it comes to putting my hair up and my earrings, but I was debating on whether I should do the side and, or the back. I was debating on whether I was gonna do the back or not, and I don't think I'm going to. So, hope that you enjoyed this mix of a thrift plus the haul and then a little DIY at the end. If you are local to Arlington, I definitely recommend checking out Collins Park Thrift. And until next time or next month, I actually have a, a video that should be coming up on another DIY, actually two in the next month. So stay tuned for that. Hey chickadees. When I recorded this March thrift highlight, I had no idea what was in store for me and my husband in the next few days. This furry little best friend of mine was sick during the time of this recording. He has passed on to the Rainbow Bridge and I miss him so much. If you choose to donate to the Humane Society of North Texas, I've listed the details in the comments below. This video is dedicated to the best little furry dog, Dax Evans. We were blessed to have been able to adopt Dax almost 10 years ago at the Humane Society in the Keller location here in DFW. I miss him so much and you can tell that he's always been a big part of my videos, my posts, and just being myself. I miss you, Dax.